Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen floor. <laughs> we are going to go through, yeah, the heart of every cottage is the home. <laughs> so we are going to go through the heart, no. The heart of every home is the kitchen. <laughs> That's complete, yeah. The heart of every home is the kitchen. So we are gonna go through the kitchen today and give it a bit of a spruce up, uh, put everything that has been cleaned away, go through our pantry, our fridge. It is February, we might as well go through and yeah, if there's anything left over from Christmas, it's probably not edible anymore. It might have a very pungent smell, which might be why Fia's in the kitchen with me. I did this at the very start of January and it was the most overwhelming thing. I don't think we had actually looked at like what food we had in the house um, since we brought all the food to the house, so, oh. So it was good, but overwhelming to see just how many jars when you lay them out all over the island. Um, it, it's, it's just a lot. There's a lot of food in, in our house and I guess when it's all in the shelves away from everything, you don't actually realise how much food there is until we place it side by side. So we're definitely in a very privileged position that we have this much food to be able to eat every day. Um, and I don't take that lightly. So yes. A lot of work, a lot of energy, a lot of manual labour goes into every piece of food that we eat. So let's make sure that we're not about to waste any. Remind us of what is in the house that we can eat rather than buying food that we don't need. Use what we have and enjoy it and make delicious food. Isn't that right? Yeah. Pia, are you gonna help me? Yeah. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> we're down to, I guess, the pantry section now got all our sauces, butters, jars, nutritional yeast, gravy essential, and um, yeah, probably need to take everything out of this and then put it all back in. <laughs> and they might put down some of the plastic to protect the wood underneath, if I've taken everything out anyway.
breadcrumbs that we're gonna go out a date, but just keep them in the freezer because I'm gonna probably use them frozen anyway. I don't know what that is. A wine cooler. And our ice trays. Need to make more ice. Got some frozen berries, gyoza wrappers, roast, corn roast. Baby carrot. <laughs> oh, put that down, baby. Oh, that's a lovely lettuce. We've got our peppers. Oh, cute little welcome. Um, yellow fields, St. Bridget's cooking cocktails. Very cute. Mushrooms. <laughs> Tomato. Some kombucha, or that's not kombucha, sparkling stuff. Got some fancy tofu and some spicy hummus. It's in my welcome bag. <laughs> Cute. Delivered straight to your door. You are looking to um, one redemption per new customer. Mm. Well, Green Earth Organics, 20% off if you use the code FRIEND20. So nice. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, what am I gonna make with all this? Look at those mushrooms. Oh, this was so fresh and clean. <laughs>
here. All my leftovers, jams, marmalades, sauces, mayonnaise and mustards and hummus, butter tofu, miso and sun dried bait, probably need to be that. Our lettuces, limes, any dairy or vegan dairy things, all our veg here, anything medical, so face masks, and camera, so any of our film we keep in the fridge, vinaigrettes, liquids. They're mostly for cooking. These are all our like extra sauces. Probably can be thrown into something to flavor it up. And even the Asian sauces. That's a bug milk. Elderberry cordial. And some homemade kimchi. That's way more organized. Yes, we are. before it gets better, right? And yes, I am using a rusty <laughs> step platter as my tripod. got lots of lemons that are kind of tired, not so juicy anymore. So I'm just gonna squeeze all the lemon juice out. lemon juice. I'd say that's about a cup of lemon juice. We can use that for cleaning.
seconds to be used. Got some carrots I want to use up. Oh, we got some rice ready. So I'm gonna make some sushi. Got my big row. My sushi mat. And I've done this before where I have cut it in half, but I think I'm gonna just stay big today. Oh no, let's be real. back on itself. Okay, there is our sushi. Got some leftover sushi rice. So I'm gonna try and yeah, use that. This already feels a little unsticky. Definitely not as sticky as it was yesterday. Because your hands are wet, it doesn't stick to you as much, but yeah, fresh sushi rice definitely works better. Oh. Or having some vinegar on your hands is also good. Um, okay. You want to try and get it right up to the edge, but. Ooh. Yeah, so we're just going to chop some carrots nice and thin. And roll them up the center. This might, this first one I think might just be carrots. I have some wasabi, so I'm going to, like that's probably too much. Glide a little bit along my carrot. We want balanced flavors. Oh, here we go. Wish me luck. rolling yep all the way around yeah so there's our little roll of sushi I'm gonna tuck in both sides oh hello rice I'm gonna cut in half I'm gonna cut this in half and cut this in half and cut this in half and just tuck things in. So, definitely not perfect, but yeah, probably too much rice. I probably should have made my carrots a bit smaller. Shabby. Another. White hands again. And we squish. I'm trying to get the thinnest layer of rice you can. But this isn't moving as much as I'd like it to.
really squish it down. Try and get it right up to the edges. Okay, I think that's probably enough sushi for now. left my avocado. Okay. And we're gonna just spread our avocado out. Again, the smallest bit of wasabi. We can just get a bit of a I should have put it on the seaweed, but anyway, here we go. Okay, pull it into place, hold with our hands, and roll. Ooh, tuck, tuck, tuck. And roll. And roll. And roll. And roll. And roll. It'll be just fine. Oop. together. A splash of soy. Splash of rice wine vinegar. Mix that together. And that can be our dipping sauce. Yeah. This is our sushi. I guess not too bad for some last minute leftover kind of thing, but yeah, it's a good way to use up some tired avocado and a little bit of tired carrot too. And then I had the sushi rice left over, so I'm going to demolish this. <laughs> On our list, well, I didn't actually make a list officially. <laughs> Next, we are going to use up those funky apples, I guess. They're not that funky. They just, yeah, they have some bruising on the outside. And we are going to make jam. So when we were going through the freezer, we have some, like a very small amount of mixed berries and quite a bit of raspberries. So yeah, we have a bit of time today. Let's make some jam and save the food from being wasted. <laughs> okay, we have some apples that are looking worse for wear, so I'm gonna chop them up and probably throw them into some sort of a jam. Okay. Yeah, I think we could save some of this. <laughs> together. Now we're going to add it to our paste. 
save it. to doing any of this but I was on a mission yesterday and I know I'm gonna feel so much better if I just go through tidy everything up a little bit I need to go to the glass recycling at some point so this is next on the list of things I want to tackle um, so for me I like to take everything out I think that's what Marie Kondo taught everybody <laughs> take everything out. I use jars that I've finished with for any extra sauces I make, any like that, I would go and I'd refill that in the closest refilling shop. Some of them have got the labels taken off, some I don't. But this is a bit chaotic. So yeah, I've got, like if I want to refill soap, this is one that I'll bring. busy. Like, probably have some things I could refill. I also have like spare paper bags in the back here. Um, it's for like if I'm going to a charity shop and I want to donate something or you know if I want to bring a bag somewhere and not not need it back. And then this is all my baking tins. I've gone through them multiple times recently, so I think they're good to stay. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it works. <laughs> These are like those mini jams that you'd see in a hotel. Um, a lot of the time I never have things like I don't want to bring my whole face moisturizer so I'll sterilize these if I'm traveling somewhere and I'll often use them for bringing my stuff with me. making jam yesterday. So this is our <laughs> collection to go through now. Um, I want to keep both of the Kilner ones because I use them for like spices and seasoning. I don't have... Oh, I do actually have garlic. Also, another handy tip. These, if you ever like order a takeaway, you'll often get sauces to go alongside your food. Save them. <laughs> because they are perfect if you want to refill. If you don't necessarily need, like you don't want to bring a full jar to a refill shop. They're so good for refilling seasoning, spices, anything like that. Um, this was a <laughs> an accidental purchase in the middle of lockdown and it has come into its own and I use it so much, but yeah. It's getting a bit stained and a bit funky looking, but it's been so useful. Okay, so garlic. Now it has the smallest amount of garlic in it, but it has garlic. <laughs> Again, this is another one I've just restocked up on. Um, my favorite zero waste shop 
near me has just shut down. So extremely sad, but they were so good. I don't need to keep any of the labels now because I won't be able to reuse them anyway. Um, yeah, they were so good. This is ground oregano. I've never seen that before, but apparently that is how you buy it in any of the refill shops in Italy. So, oh my God, the smell. Woo, that is oregano. It smells divine. Oh, sugar. But yeah, refilling spices or seasoning like this is often way cheaper than if you were to buy it because you're not paying for this you're just paying for the contents and fun fact on i used to think buying in bulk was the way to go but seasoning has a like a best before or a use by or it's gonna have its best flavor for the first maybe six months, well, depending on the spice, but. So after a certain amount of time, they're not as flavorful anyway. So it is better to buy what you need. Like if you're not going to use a kilo of bay leaves, don't buy them. Just buy, well, if you have the, I guess, <coughs> opportunity. Zero waste shops are amazing for that. So yes, I am happy with this. I guess the other job that I would need to do now is I want to remove all the labels, but I just don't have time to do that today. But yeah, so mayonnaise. I often ask family members to save, save their jars for me. Um, I love this jar. <laughs> and I think the majority of the stuff that we have in the pantry is in vegan Hellman's mayonnaise jars because the jar itself is just so nice. <laughs> it's so nice to use, it's so nice to handle. Um, I, don't think I, know. I really like the coconut jars as well. They're really nice for refilling like fruit nuts and seeds because I never actually want that much. Um, I have some old marmalade jars. This is some salsa jar, another giant mayonnaise jar. I don't know what that is, but how nice, it's square. Yeah, and then these are really nice for if you're making like almond butter or something that you don't actually want to, you don't want to take a huge jar with it, so. I got this beautiful calendar for Christmas and I wanted to hang it up here. And it's February and I still haven't done it, so yes. We are doing, I guess, continuing the spring clean. I just went to Woody's and picked up some command hooks. But I missed January. And yeah, I'll read out though. So we've got clementines, grapefruit, Seville oranges, Yorkshire forest rhubarb, Brussels sprouts, cabbages, cauliflower, cavallo nero, celeriac, chicory, Jerusalem artichokes, kale, leeks, parsnips, purple sprouting broccoli, radicchio, and swede. Swede, swede. Sweet? I guess it's sweet. I don't know what that one is. But everything else. But around the February. <laughs> so for February, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, celeriac, chicory, Jerusalem artichoke, kale, leeks, parsnips, purple sprouting broccoli, radicchio, savoy cabbage, and sweet, plus blood oranges, grapefruits, Seville oranges, and Yorkshire forest rhubarb. I love blood oranges. I also love celeriac. Purple sprouting broccoli, so I planted some of that. It's just starting to come up outside, but it, it, it doesn't look as full as that one. But yeah, mission is get this hung so that, so that it's hung, but I absolutely love the calendar. I'm so excited. I've tried every year since I started following mainly breakfast to get her calendar. And yeah, as with a lot of things I buy online, they've ended up in their mystery spot in the middle of the ocean on their abandoned island because so many things I tried to buy they just never arrive <laughs> or when they do I lose them and I yeah and then I think Fia has eaten them but she hasn't <laughs> it's just that they went missing <laughs> okay it is time to hang this up though <laughs>
just me or if everyone has these kind of things but they're jobs that just need to be done and you stare at them and stare at them and stare at them and eventually you get around to it. Yeah, so yeah, I know it's terrible, isn't it? But I'm delighted with my calendar. <laughs> I can finally see it every day rather than looking at it on my desk and being like, ah, I want you on the wall. It'll be in the kitchen, so I'll look at it every time I open the fridge. So I'll be like, ooh, seasonal, ooh, yes. Exciting, exciting times. Okay, I have other things on my list that I want to get done. Candles. Candles are on my list that I wanted to do as well. Okay, yeah, I might do that now, actually. <laughs> longer but we have lots of wax now so I'm yeah I'm gonna try and figure out a way to do wax melts I don't actually have a wax melting tea light thing but mmm this is that's lots of wax mm. yeah I really like the full discs they're quite beautiful and um, I think I probably did it wrong because it looks like there's loads of dust in them but anyway we've got loads of wax saved as well and now if I just clean these, I've got three beautiful glasses that I could reuse or, yeah, do something with. That's exciting. Oh, I'm just back from the gym, so my, I was doing rowing. My arms are really shaky. Holding your camera so hard. Um, this is not officially kitchen, but yeah, I guess dining. I would like to clean Fia's paw prints off. I want to move the garden chairs back out to the garage. Move the thing that we had for the Christmas tree out to the garage as well. And then the last thing is this. So apparently it was just Candlemas, um, which I'd never heard of before. I kind of thought it was a fake word. Um, but it's the day that people take down the last of their Christmas decorations. So apparently I'm right in season by still having all my Christmas decorations on the floor to go up there. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think I might do that now as well. Just do it, then I'll probably do a quick hoover, maybe a quick mop. Um, I think Fia will probably stay busy outside for another little bit too, so that'll be good.
it is bank holiday Monday. We have been taking off this kitchen slowly but surely over the last few days. And today is the final day. The table has been cleared. The kitchen has been organized. The dishwasher has been filled and emptied and filled and emptied. And now we're gonna make our veggie stock. So I've got my big pot here. And I'm gonna take all my vegetables out of the freezer. we start to empty the compost bin. Um, yeah, she thinks so too. <laughs> okay, so hopefully that was a little bit of help for you, a bit of motivation, a bit of inspiration. Um, I'm always so nosy, I love to see what's in people's kitchens, <laughs> what's in their fridge, what sauces do they have, so yeah, I guess you got a bit of an insight into what I like to cook with. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll actually do some cooking. This was just the prep, the mise en place. <laughs> okay, talk to you soon, bye.